Hello, my friends. That's me, of course, Ravi from English Harmony with another daily idiomatic expression or the so-called collocation, which is the more scientific term, you know, for describing these word combinations that we're learning on a daily basis here with me on YouTube at EnglishHarmony.com. Anyway, today's expression is very simple. Namely, it's the one that is probably overused a lot, and it is, you know what I mean. This one is the expression that you can use whenever you feel that you're stuck for words. Say, for instance, you're explaining a particular concept during a conversation, and then you just get stuck for words. You don't know how to finish off a sentence, whether it's just that the proper word is just evading your, your mind and it's on the tip of your tongue but you just can't recall it or the conversation has gotten too fast for you to handle and you're just getting into a kind of a brain freeze situation when everything seizes up in your mind and you just can't can't get the conversation going so instead of just keeping your mouth shut and saying nothing you can always resort to this phrase, you know what I mean. And then the other person will most likely respond with something, you know. And then you can get the conversation going again. And uh, I don't think I have to bring up any examples because you'll instinctively feel when you can use this expression, you know what I mean. <laughs> and here's, here's a typical example. Uh, and in this case, it wasn't that I was getting stuck for words. It's just that I finished off making my point with this phrase. You know what I mean? Because it just sounds friendly, you know? And that's another use. Probably mo the most typical one among native speakers anyway. You know? And the, you know is the short version of you know what I mean. It's just that if you want to fill your conversation with more words, make it sound a little, little bit more uh, substantial. You can use such and similar phrases a lot, you know what I mean, and, uh, and similar. So don't overlook this one. It's not too simple. It's a totally valid English expression. And for me personally, they all fall under the same category idiomatic expressions so you know what I mean is the one you can use whenever you're stuck for words or you just want to sound more friendly and especially among native speakers say you're the only foreigner and there's two or three native speakers in the crowd and you're sitting at the table during a lunch break and having a conversation and you might be feeling a little bit less confident than normally, you know, you're lacking self-esteem and then you're, you're asked a question and then you answer it with one or two sentences and then, and then you can just stick that, you know what I mean, in to sound more informal, more easygoing, more friendly, you know, you know what I mean, my friends. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. But I'm back with another idiomatic expression, just like every day. Bye.